Hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you Transformers Rise of the Beast Mainline Jungle Mission 3 Pack Nightbird. But before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so it's no up but it's good. thumbs up if you enjoy. So with that all out of the way, let's begin. And I'm not going to show off the packaging because I already did that in in the first part which was cheaper. So yeah, I will just move on to the feature. So here we have Nightbird in her vehicle mode and she's honestly pretty cool I, j I just have only like one problem just one problem that would have made this figure be like um, awesome but I bet the Studio Series version will be will make it beat this might fix hopefully it will fix my problem so yeah I want to take a close look at the details it's a nice yellow the lights, purple. This is where my problem is the brown. Just, just the brown. Like that's the only problem I have since she is covered in all that brown. So, yeah. nice gray, purple for the wheels or magenta. Rolls are really cool. Underneath, yeah, I see robot mode. Her arms, where her legs would be. So yeah, yeah. So far, so size comparisons. Here she is, and here's my previous view. Mainline Cheetor. Here she is next to Studio Series Battle Trap. And you know what? And also, last but not least, here she is next to Scourge. Ah, uh, see, got he got the Terracons. I mean, of course, besides Freezer, but I didn't feel like bringing Freezer. So yeah. So yeah. So that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode. So now let's get down to transformation. So first thing I want to do is remove the spoiler. Remove these, and these are going to be her weapons. Okay, so now, transform. First thing I want to do, come back here, untap, bring this whole section upwards. So, then after that, I want to come, come here to these sides, untap it, and bring it back like so. The same. Untap, bring it back. Now what you want to do is, what I like to do is bring down the arms a little bit. Because now what you want to do is take this section, they just want to pull it out, so. And it is tricky to do, but just. Bring it down, and then just bring it out, like so. Then, after that, come here. The foot, bring it out. Straighten it all out, rotate it around. Then you just bring up the foot. From here, collapse this down. That will actually just go in, rotate, push it in, and there have one like all done. Do the same on to the off side. So just here. And I'm gonna just off camera. There we go. So just pull it out, then bring it down, bring up that panel, rotate the whole leg around, bring that in, collapse it, and then there you have her legs all done. So now let me just raise up the camera. Okay, so now for up here. Basically what you want to do is to bring down the arms, bring them outwards, and if you didn't just already, just do all that. Then after that, what you want to do, make sure the head is straight. So now, make sure this all's back, bring this whole section down, bring up this panel, then you want to bring this whole section back, down, come on. Okay, 
That's fighting me. There we go. Okay. So I just bring it down. Here, this whole thing. This section. Panel right here will just go right in between these. Slots. Bring down the arms. Bring up the backpack where this tab right there will go into slot right in there. Sure, all that it's all locked in. Then, if you want to, what I like to do is just flare out these panels a little bit. Then, there you have Nightbird in a robot. Oops, here, just bring on the camera a little bit. Then, there you have Nightbird in a robot mode. Alright, so now let's take a closer look at the head sculpt. Oops, head sculpt focus. I can see a yellow eye instead of the red. See, I you could tell you could see all the light brown, and I don't like it. I just don't like it. The yellow, the headlights. Like I said, yeah. I guess it's nice purple. The back, she kind of has a backpack, but it's not as bad as some others. Yeah. So for articulation wise, her head is on a ball joint, you can look up, only that far, can look down, not really, can't really do a full 360, do two, Ooh, the shoulders, but, yeah, I'm mean, not doing the shoulders, do two, this whole thing, his arms are on a ball joint, here they can do a full 360, they can move out, also, down, there's a bend at the elbow, rotation, there's nothing at the handle, just have a waist swivel, so legs move up that far, can't move back that far, they cannot, they can only go out that far, rotation, there's a bend, does have an ankle pivot, yeah, pretty much it. Not, not the greatest, but actually for someone who's supposed to be like a ninja, but yeah. So for weaponry, does come with a sword, and this can just plug to her hand. And she also these were two things where these just connect and. Little slot and there's a little hole on both sides where this can just go into. And yeah. Yeah. I wish these were painted as well. Yeah, so for some size comparisons, here she is. Here she is from Pierce View. Cheetor. She is next to Battle Trap and you know what? Get them all in. It's next to Scourge. Scourge as well. We just raise it up and let me just scoop back the camera. And you can tell how good they all look together. So, yeah. Let me just. So yeah, so that's pretty much it for the rubber mode. Oh, and nope, one more thing which I don't like is how long this thing is down. Like, I wish they could like do like halfway, but like half of this, but yeah. But now that's pretty much it for robot mode. So now let's get back down to transformation. So this thing you want to do is just remove these, set them off to the side. So now. If you can just bring these down, then after that, what you want to do is come here, collapse toes down here, untap this, bring 
whole chest assembly upwards. Tab the roof. So it's gonna allow this to back, bring up this panel, and this fold thing around, making sure all that goes in. And after that, what you want to do is rotate the arms, bring them in, same rotate. Oops, here, you guys can't see, it's like this, so rotate, bring it in. Like so. Kind of like this. Here, let me just angle the camera down just a little bit. Okay, so now if we're back here, what you want to do is to rotate the leg all the way around. Bring it in, then just bring this, bring this out, and this is where stuff get kind of complicated. So you want to bring this up, you just want to bring it down and then you want to rotate that hinge to bring it around. So. Just do that, making sure you get everything to place. Then once you uh, have it, then you want to come here, tab, bring this around, and then this will just tab in. Then want to do this on the offside, so rotate down. No, no, let me make sure this is out. Bring it whole assembly in. Let me make sure this is rotated. Oops. This off camera because it's quite hard to do. Come on. Then just this panel, just tab all that in. Then to finish this off, bring it down and bring this down with that. Yeah, then just to fully finish it off, you can come here, these, and tab them. Why don't you just peg them in? To the back, then these two tabs on top will go into some slots on the sword. So just here, place it in. Then there you have Nightbird back in our vehicle mode. So final thoughts on Nightbird. Decent figure. Um, I just have like, a few problems, and I really hope the CD series version will fix it when it gets announced but yeah so that's it for this review and i'll see you guys in the third and final part of the jungle mission three pack i'll see you in that video bye